Vitamins and mineral deficiencies contribute a major nutritional problem in Kenya and Africa in general. Iodine, vitamin A, folic acid, and zinc are among the world's most serious health risk factors. Lack of them causes birth defects, maternal deaths, child mortality, as well as blindness and anemia. We as a country had already started earlier with salt. We had done mandatory fortification for it. And now you can see we are on track because now we are going to have all our, 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 our jogos, our our, our pendanas, our ward, fortified to the standard that will now be monitored by CAPS. So we are actually moving our level of interventions into something that is actually going to mark the rest of the world. Currently, over 10 million people in Kenya suffer from chronic food insecurity, poor nutrition, and between 2 to 4 million people require emergency food assistance. Very important that we develop some very quick field tests. There are tests that, that go under the brand name iCheck. Um, I learned last week I was at a meeting on fortification up in Addis uh, that really it's available for vitamin A, so you can do it for sugar, you can do it for oils and fats. You can't do it for the complex regime that's in wheat flour and maize meal at the moment. The government has made fortification of maize, wheat flour and oil mandatory in order to ensure that the food remains nutritious after being processed and packaged. We have a very recent uh, document for monitoring and uh, uh, monitoring of uh, fortified food products, which we developed and uh, published in, in May, uh, May 2012, and which is basically to help the industry con conform to the, to the requirements of those standards as a way of uh, public-private partnership. Food fortification is an additional of nutrients to commonly eaten foods to maintain or improve nutritional quality of foods. In Kenya, salt fortification with iodine was made mandatory in 1998 and this has helped to reduce goita due to iodine deficiency from 21% to 6%. Now the fortification of edible oils and fats, wheat and maize flour have been made mandatory. Opeyua Samuel, GBS. Thank you.